Hi guys, this is Ging and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, if you aren't subscribed, don't forget to hit subscribe for you to be able to uh, update when I have new videos comes out. So for today's video guys, I'm gonna going to uh, discuss or to share to you um, what are the ways to impress your Filipinas family for the first time meeting. So if you want to learn something, keep watching and stay tuned. So hello everybody, this is Ging again and I am back for another videos for you guys and I'm going to discuss and talk about you know how to or what are the ways to impress your Filipinas family during your first time in meeting. So have you have you uh, have you considered to ask yourself um because I have a lot of comments uh, that I hear that you know uh, you know, saying that what are the ways to uh, impress the Filipinas family during the first time meeting? So, so today, guys, I will going to answer and give you a little bit ideas about that to meet your Filipinas family. So, another tradition significant in the Philippines dating scene is one of the most important is approval of a Filipinas parents. If one of Filipino parents don't believe that their child partner is not right for them, then that relationship will have less to tendency less, you know. And so guys, if you are, if you wish, you know, to date a Filipino woman, then here are the some efficient ways how to impress your Filipinas family during your first meeting. So, okay, let's start. So, number one, you should do to your Filipina parents, Mano. So, what is Mano? We can call it another term, bless. So, first, we need to, uh, I will give you first the definitions, what is Mano. So, Mano po, uh, this is the tra Filipino tradition where you take the hands, elders, and press your forehead against it. It is the way that showing respect to an elders. Now, if you're about to meet your partner's parents, you should prepare to make these gestures so the parents will know that, you know, you are entering their traditional ways. So just a simple mano to their parents. So by the way, guys, I, uh, I'll just want to add something, you know. If you use mano po and... Uh, are you are you wondering who do you do it? Uh, when do you do it? Or uh, you know um, why do you need to do it to use mano? Actually, uh, using mano it is a way of respect, guys. And you should uh, mano to the parents, uh, even you know older than you or or even you're older than them because this is the tra traditional way of a Filipina and. You know, just a simple mano and they will know that you're entering their, you know, you know and you're entering their traditional ways and that is very important by showing that a kind of respect for them. Okay, number two. Don't be rude. I mean, you know, if you're about to uh, meet your partner's parents and then it is, uh, you know, it is very common or it is very, uh, you need to, you know, consider it or expect, you know, the differences between when it comes to foods, when it comes to culture, you know what I mean? And, you know, if the, if you are about to uh, visit uh, your Filipinas parents, and I'm sure it's very common to, you know, Filipinas parents are very nice and they are very hospit hospitable. And you know, if they uh, serve you food, eat it, and be appreciated, you know, uh, Filipino people are very known for incredible hospitality. Other ways of showing this is by preparing a whole ton of dishes, uh, especially if they know that you're going to the best to visit them for the first time. So, you know, you know, it's very common to a Filipina, uh, they were going to prepare you some food for you because they are grateful or they are happy because, you know, you're going to 
visit them you know uh, you they feel that you respect you respect their daughters uh, you give uh, good intentions that why you are going to visit them and if they serve food eat it and be appreciative you know if you are going to decline the food um they will feel that you know they will feel that they are you know they are they are not doing their best they will they will going to feel that you are being disrespected you know if this serves something for you if they prepare something for you because they give time for that um they give effort for that you know just try to eat even a little bit or you know just try to make me uh make them tell feel that they are grateful to prefer that kind of food for you so and also guys um you know just a simple appreciation they will appreciate i'm sure they do and of course don't forget also to say thank you afterward because you know time and effort is there so be, don't be rude if they serve you food, eat it and be appreciative. You know, like for example, uh, they preferred for you, for you a lechon baboy or a lechon pig, you know. And lechon, lechon baboy or pig is not it is not cheap here in the Philippines. You need to buy like 5,000 to 6,000 or 4,000. And you know, even me in my family just rarely doing a lechon because, you know, it's, it's kind of expensive and... You know, when you go to their family during your visit and they prefer for you a lechon baboy or pig, uh, so that means they, they are value you. They are going to, you know, give them an effort for you to, you know, to appreciate that they are nice. So, go in uh, back and forth and pay for their, you know, gratefulness and nice uh, traditional ways. Okay, number three. So number three, guys, is like, for example, you know, your parents, uh, the parents of your Filipino girlfriend uh, invited you to, uh, you know, to join their uh, birthdays of their daughter or the sister of your Filipino girlfriend or another occasions that they have and then they invited you or any occasions that they have, you should consider to by yourself uh, bringing, a, a, bringing a gift, you know. You know, Filipino are very, you know, the the upper shade or the the always saying thank you even a small things. We are that kind of behavior that we appreciate even small things, you know. And they feel like if you give them a gift, a little, you know, a little appreciations like a gift, and for them it is really a big. It is it is, it is for them it is grateful for them because you know. For us as a Filipino, uh, we used to do, you know, if there's an occasion like a birthdays, you know, we used to do exchanging gift or you're just bringing a little gift. And I'm sure the family of your Filipino will, uh, you know, appreciate it and value it. I'm not saying it in a fancy gift here, but just a simple, you know, a simple things that, you know, your uh, the girlfriend of your Filipino will you know, they're going to be happy and appreciate it even a small, simple gift. I'm sure they do. Another tip also for bringing a gift for them is you should, you know, ask your Filipino girlfriend or their daughter, ask them, ask her that, you know, uh, you know, honey, what are, you know, your family's uh, favorite food what are they like you know and for that you get a, get a big scores for them you know because they're wondering what wow you know he uh, he gave me a surprise gift that uh, the things that I really like for me that's kind of being sweet and kind so if you do that that's a big point okay number four be open and honest. You know, it is very common when it comes to relationship, guys, when, you know, saying it, you need to be honest, you need to be open to your partner, not only to your partner, but also to the family of your Filipina's girlfriend, you know, because when, it, when you're talking to your partner, when you have a gr Filipina's girlfriend, you also have a Filipina's girlfriend's family. Because it's about, you know, family-oriented and very near, 
we are very i mean we are very near to our family so it's very considerable you know and you know during your visit to her parents or your filipina girlfriends try to open things that you know about your life about your past you know you know parents are very you know very strict when it comes to their daughter you know for the for the safety and security for the kids so of course it's very normal to it's very normal to be worried about their situation of their daughter so you know we try to be uh talk to the parents about you know what are your intentions to you know what are your in good intentions to to their daughter what are your plans you know it's very uh you know common to the family that they were going to ask you a few questions about you know like for example uh okay what are your uh what are your plans to my daughter do you have any you know better plans do you have any good intentions or you know just try to be honest guys what what's your intention all about to their daughter you know because they're just thinking about their daughter um safety and security i'm pretty sure I'm sure you also understand that. So, don't be scared to share about your private life if you really have a good intentions to your Filipinas girlfriend. And don't be scared to share to the family because, you know, all you need to do is just be open and be honest. And I'm sure the Philippine, I'm sure, I mean, I am sure that your Filipinas girlfriend will understand your situation and about your past so the good point on there is your good intentions to their daughters that's the most matter at all or i mean so number five guys is mind your manners take it is very important guys especially when it comes to uh that's the very first time where you about to meet your partner parents remember um uh, Remember that you are uh, speaking to an olders or older than you, so best be respectful with your tone. Also, guys, um, don't forget to use like a magic words, uh, like you know, it's like a showing like a respect, like saying um, po o po or like honorific words, like yes, uh, sir or ma'am or you know, that's. And uh, it's a kind of showing respect to an older than you, and you know, this uh, little details can make them, you know, uh, feel grateful that you are being a respectful person. Like you know, they feel that you respect, uh, you are using a respect word to them for them. Uh, so they feel that also you respect their daughter the way how you delivered deliver your messages or or i mean the way you express your emotions or feelings towards to them so i'm sure uh, they will be, feel also being grateful with that another thing also guys is you should uh, shake their hands and you should answer their all questions in being polite or being kind so they're not going to be open or you know we don't know, we don't need to, you know, conclude what they're going to feel or, you know, being offended or, or something like that. So you need to be uh, being polite and be kind, especially the way you deliver your messages or the way you express your feelings. Okay, number six, um, you should be, uh, you know, respectful to their culture and traditions, guys, because, you know, that is very you know common if you have a filipino girlfriend and you are a westerner versus a filipino and i'm sure uh, we have a different you know cultures and traditions uh, when it comes to food when it comes to religion when it comes to believing you know when it comes to a lot of things uh you know we have a different uh, nationalities so it is very considerable that we have um, differences of cultures so 
just uh, show to them that you respect uh, the culture of your Filipinas girlfriend, family, or us. Uh, we also respect your culture, so I'm pretty sure uh, that kind of matters or these matters will uh, take times or process to adapt. You know, especially when it comes to food, and it's not easy. Especially, you know, we go we grow up with this kind of foods and you also grow up with that kind of foods so it's a kind of it takes time to uh you know process and adaptions to when it comes to things so just them uh, very important you know respect towards each other to make the relationship with the parents is good and the relationship to the daughter is good so just be respectful to the culture and traditions so if you can do that then that is perfect for me that is perfect you know so there is no problem if you can do that being respectful yeah another thing also guys if you want to uh their parents of your Filipina girlfriends wants to like you to get their you know to get their uh, what do you call this to get their uh, emotions and feelings that you are the best for them uh, or you are the right person for her daughter you should shoot them you know you should shoot them that you are a good person that you have a good intentions to their daughter you know so that's not a big deal if you can do that then that's perfect you know so and last but not the least is so you need to make it a point and show them how much you care to their daughter at the end of the day parents want what is best for their children especially when it comes to relationship you know her parents want to see in a relationship with a man who cares for her deeply. And also guys, you should uh, make sure that you tell them or show to them, to the parents that, you know, how much you care or that you are, uh, you know, you are very happy or show to them that you appreciate your partner or your Filipino girlfriend or share to the parents your good memories you know uh, your good intentions to their daughter uh, make uh, you know make a good intentions for the future for you guys together so you need to express your admin admiration for her so yeah so that's a lot guys so that's me. <laughs> so that's my idea or opinions for you to be able to meet on your Filipinas girlfriend's family for the first time meeting. So I hope you learned this video, guys, and I hope you like this video. And if you're not yet subscribed, if you're new here, uh, make sure you do and hit the bell notification also for you to be updated when i have new videos comes out if you have any questions guys any clarifications feel free to comment down below in a sections comment and i will have time to answer that and thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate your time i hope you're doing great and awesome thank you so much and take care